Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus, being to Ferdinand Kingsley about the Sandman dropping on Netflix August 5th. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. This is so crazy because like my like like a lot of fans we've been waiting for this for for a long time it feels like yeah you and me both mate you and me both are you getting used because you've worked on a lot of really big scale projects in the last you know couple of years like mank as well as on netflix are you getting yeah, used to yeah. from the storyteller perspective these kind of waves of like announcements like the sandman gets announced right and then there's like first look photos not a trailer first look photos yeah and now it's like actually coming out soon like it's pretty crazy yeah, I mean, uh, getting used to maybe. I don't think I am though, because I, you know, we 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 go through it just the same. And uh, and if you're if you are what I am, which is essentially just a fan at heart, you know, like I'm an actor because I because I love the stuff that I that I want to be in. Yeah. Um. So you know, we what we get the only bit that we get that you don't get is that we make it and then we sit there going, okay, okay, now what? Now what? Now wait for a year for it to come out. Um. So uh, we do get, you know, we get the 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 live behind the scenes bit because we are behind the scenes. Yeah. But but then we do get the um the sort of weird pent up excitement for the for the coming months as well. So I'm just as excited as you. When does it start like hitting you that you're working on the Sandman? Is it like when like um, it like is it when you get there? Is it when you wrap? Like when does it start hitting you? I think it came in stages but i think it really hit me when i first stepped into the pub in the year of our lord 1389 and i'd already i'd met tom and kirby before but you know there was the first time i'd seen them in costume and makeup and the first time they'd seen me in hairy costume and makeup um and there was i just thought and they've been doing it for something like 10 months already. Well, not Kirby. She'd only recently started. But but um, Tom had been doing it for a long time, as had the crew. Yeah. And um, so it was a bit more... Well, it could. You, they would have been forgiven for being a bit more... Um, yeah, sure. I mean, this is the same. We're still, we're still doing it. But um, but Tom is a fan. And Tom is a someone who is an actor because he loves acting and loves the work. So he was like, when we rehearsed, uh, at the end of the rehearsal, he just sort of quietly said to me, "Look, man, if you like, I, I I can't believe I'm doing this job, and you know, if you yeah. if you want to come, if if they call me in at four in the morning to rehearse something that is not on the call sheet, I'll come in and do it because I can't, you know, I'm not going to be doing this my whole life. I want to enjoy it while I'm here, and that is, I just think that's a really good tone to set for the whole show, Absolutely. and it made me feel like I wasn't I wasn't going onto a set that was jaded and waiting for this sort of traumatic experience of filming during a pandemic to be over. It was it was a set that was still excited and invigorated at least at least outwardly you know who, how, i don't know what they were saying when they went home but while, <laughs> while they were at work they were uh, they were at least externally uh, as thrilled to be there as as me and so yeah when i first walked into the 1389 set and it was it, it smelled like uh medieval times i imagine it had goats it had dogs it had a fireplace it had food cooking it had drinks it had more people than i'd seen in a year and a half it was amazing and i thought i'm i'm actually doing it and i'm and i'm saying and also the key thing which i should have said is that the words the dialogue i'm saying is the dialogue from the comics more or less you know 100%. there's been this the, the 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 slightest tweaks to to make it more um you know screen worthy but it it's it is neil's dialogue and and that and it felt so right coming out of your mouth it didn't feel like oh i'm i'm trying to you know, shoehorn this this comic book dialogue into a, into a TV show. It felt like no, this stuff is made to be spoken aloud, and feels like this is just the natural next step for it. It's so interesting you say that about the DC comic because I find it interesting because, and I'm sure people that are fans of the comics like myself are not going to be that surprised when they watch the TV show. But 
it really is a genre bending world, the Sandman, because you're watching this show and you know, it's got like, like you said, like the medieval component, it's got like the fantasy, it's got the sci-fi, it's got the geek culture, yeah. it's got a it's little got, horror. It's it, got horror. Yeah, it's it's yeah. scary, absolutely. Do you like notice that you're working on a genre bending show? Because maybe based on the like Neil's comic, we know it was genre bending in the comic. Like, I'm just curious about that a bit, Fernand. Yeah, yeah, you 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 know it just because of the sheer scale of it, yeah. and you know that you know for for whatever I'm doing, there's some other absolutely insane green screen um, shenanigans going on on the stage next door. But the the kind of the fun for me. Uh, performance wise is going in and going I only know what this guy knows yeah I don't I, 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 dream is I don't Hob never really knows what dream is apart from that he's his friend yeah. and his and and he's pretty much dreams only friend ever yeah um he he uh so I I own the it's a fun game to go okay I know what he knows and what he knows is that he's still alive Yep. And he doesn't know why, but he knows he's 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 here, and this guy has given him that opportunity. So um, yeah, Hob doesn't Hob doesn't know he's in an insane uh, genre bending show. <laughs> maybe I do, and maybe the hair and yeah, makeup I was department. Say, maybe you do. do. <laughs> as yeah, yeah, as the as the hair and makeup department are, are you know readying my seventy fifth look of the day. <laughs> um, they they might be aware uh but uh no it's just for me it was just the the glee of walking in every day to a pub that's suddenly aged by 100 years does it's the, amazing it's does amazing. the global like aspect of of like in terms of the dissemination of it on netflix because netflix reaches so many countries is that always gonna like blow yeah. your mind i mean you were used to it a little bit working on mank so you kind of saw how many people got to watch your film does that still blow your yeah. mind a little bit like how many people are gonna yes. be able to see the sandman uh, yeah Absolutely, and I think I think the day the day it stops blowing your mind, you should probably jack it all in and, and get another job, because it it, it is so extraordinary mm -hmm. and it is so um, such a like a, a mad privilege. I haven't put "do not disturb" on. I'm so sorry if it's pinging on your. Computer. Oh, it's not. It's not. At all. <laughs> um, good. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a, yeah. It, it, it's it's an insane privilege to be doing stuff like this. You know, like I. I there are actors who are who I know and don't know who are twenty times the actor I'll ever be, who still only get to perform to, you know, eight people, mm. which is you know which I've very much done and very much may well do again in the future. Like it, it's it's no um, reflection on the quality of of you know your your ability. Absolutely, uh, the, it's so quick. The number though. of people that see it, so it's quick. So so if you. Exactly. So if you've got the, the, the chance to be in something that has this immediacy, that oh. suddenly X, X squillion people um, get to watch and make their own minds up about whether they like it and like you, that's you kind of have to... Um, enjoy the ride and let go any sense of control because you don't have much well that's the one thing that blows my mind the most about it is how quick it is like it's like yeah you know so many yeah. countries get to watch it but you know across different time zones right so like i'm on the eastern time zone yeah, yeah. but i wake up yeah. and there's like a bunch of people that are already like done binging yeah. it all around the world yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> and and they're and they are you know they've already turned it they, the gifts have been made you know, the memes have been memes. There's, I don't even have know, my once breakfast. It, once it's the out memes, there. Yeah, you're like, I don't, I don't even have my breakfast. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't even found the right font for the memes, and they've been made. Um, <laughs> you just got to enjoy the ride. It's so great. Here's the thing, and, you, and you've also and you've also got to know that once you've made it and it's out there, it's not it's not ours anymore. It's out of it's your hands. Absolutely. And that's the fun. Yeah, that's the fun. Like once once it's out, it's everyone's, and 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 we go okay. Deal, deal, do with it what you will. Dropping August fifth on Netflix, which is crazy. I wanted to ask before we wrap up too. One, one more quick question. So here's the thing: I'm born 1991, so I grew up with like DC and and Marvel, and you know I used yeah. to have a lot of the merch, t-shirts and stuff. I get teased, Ferdinand. You know what I mean? Like, cause geek culture, comic culture, you know, wasn't seen as yeah, as big. Yeah. Now I'd be like the most popular kid in school. You know what I mean? So my question yeah, for you is. Yeah. What's it like working on the Sandman at the time where these releases are like by a landslide, cool. the biggest, coolest releases of the year? Like, what's that like for you? 
Um, I I get to feel ever so slightly hipsterish insofar as I get to go. <laughs> you know, actually, um, me and my brother like this when it was a bullyable offence. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you go like, <laughs> you, know, you, we were there in our smelly little bedrooms drawing pictures of the endless or at least i was looking at my brother's drawings of the endless and <laughs> and thinking it was cool but not actually talking about it that much because it wasn't uh that cool for kids to like it and um it's like if you could zoom forwards or at least if if i could go back and go Can you just wait man in about <laughs> i don't want to do the math as to how long it's been since then um you know, wait august 5th, years, 2022 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just wait, and this will actually be cooler than you think, you strange, unpopular children. It's, it's so all weird cool. to think about, though, eh? It's so, it, it is really yeah, weird man. to think about. It is, and I think it's so great that that the world, you know, as, as connected as it is now, it's easier to find your people. It's easier yeah. to find your tribe. There's no I feel like it was only uncool to like those things back then. Because it wasn't as easy to find your 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 tribe, your yeah. crowd, and now it's it's so much easier. And if if back then you could have just sent a message to every you know kid who was feeling lonely, wearing their t shirt or, or you know staring wistfully at their DC poster, yep. thinking thinking I'm a bit of a dork and actually I don't have pals. If you could just send just a message around going, actually, there's there's loads of you. You just haven't found each other yet. That's so well. That's so well said. No, absolutely. Well, I can't. It's drop. The Sandman's dropping August fifth on Netflix worldwide. Ferdinand, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turtle. It was so great chatting with Thanks, you. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Really, really lovely to speak. No here. problem. This has been Pop Turnip, youtube.com slash Pop Turnip for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Ferdinand Kingsley and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnip. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.